Hey guys, the mods here. Welcome back to a new video. So finally, I'm back with another video for Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. And in today's video, I'm gonna save with you this beautiful graphics mod for your Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Well, this graphics mod is completely designed for low-end PC. And do you want it to know how to install and how to use? Then why don't you stick around till end and find out by yourself? And in today's video, I'm gonna give you exactly what you're watching right now. So first of all, you need to keep these things in your mind before you proceed to install this graphics mod onto your PC. Your PC should have at least 2GB of RAM and a dual core processor and your graphics memory should be around 512MP to 1GB, you know. If you do have this type of specs installed on your PC, then you can easily play this graphics mod into 30 to 35 FPS. And if you're facing any type of performance issues, then in the video, I'll show you some settings that you should apply in order to get the better frame rates. Okay, and make sure your graphics card support DirectX 11. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get started to the video, guys. But before we start, please make sure to leave a like on this video, share this video to as much you can, and if you're new, then what are you doing hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on that notification bell and set it to all so that if we upload a new video then you may get the notification first then get a chance to be first on our video so yeah without any further ado let's get started to the video guys all right my friends so as you can see we are in our desktop screen and first thing you will need this file make sure to check description for more information you know now second thing right click on the file and then click on extract here you know and it will extract a file into your desktop or any specific folder you want to extract now once a file has been extracted then simply what you need to do is you have to open your game directory now before proceeding to another step make sure your game have slio asi loader and then mod loader now let's assume you have installed all of these three mods into a game directory and let's proceed to another step you know now the thing you need to do is open your sa reflect x reborn and then open your copy to the game folder now just simply drag and drop all of these files into your game directory and then hit on replace if it asks you know now go back and then open your reset folder now double click on the reset setup and then click on click here to select the game and manage its reset installation you know now click on browse and then you have to select the gtsa.exe okay now you have to select the directx 3d 10 11 or 12 you know just hold on a second and this thing requires internet so if you are not connected to internet then make sure you connect to the internet right now now go back and then open your effect to install now watch this video and then only select this selected files okay now once you have selected just click on ok and then it will start downloading your files you know now in my case i have already did so i don't need to do that so i'll just skip this step okay so we have successfully installed our mod into a game directory now all we need to do is just watch a gameplay you know now run enb.exe now if you don't have enb.exe then search on google enb.exe or i will leave in the description make sure to check it out now simply just run enb.exe and then your game will 100 start now just wait and watch what happens So as you can see guys we are in our game and our game is looking too awesome isn't it but just hold on a second now from here what you need to do is you have to press home from your keyboard and then you have to select the abinop preset.ini from here just click on select and then your all effect will be loaded you know just change the time and enjoy the graphics so thank you so much for watching till end guys i hope you all enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video then please make sure to leave a like on this video share this video to as much as you can so yeah as always i'll see you in the next one till then goodbye